Hello everyone, this is B. Mageshwaran, Assistant Professor, Department of Environmental Science, Virudhanagar Hindu Nada, Sindhil Kumar Nada College, Virudhanagar. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about fate of xenobiotics. In this video class, we are going to uh, study about entrance, distribution, as well as storage of xenobiotics in the human body. Right? So, xenobiotics uh, must across one of uh, these barriers to exert their uh, toxicants or toxicities in the body. However, during the pr this process, they usually pass through various cell membranes. Main mainly, uh, absorption routes or barriers which are uh, oral gastrointestinal tract, inhalation through nasal cavities and dermal layers that is skin. And also some uh, other routes can be helpful to impact the uh, toxicants from the body uh, which including injection, uh, conjunctural installation, suppositories. Okay. So food contaminants uh, which are also absorbed by gastrointestinal tracts and also air pollutants uh, which is inhaled by inhalation uh, through nasal cavities and also toxic chemicals uh, which mainly penetrated uh, through the skin, uh, dermal layers, right. So here uh, denoted the distribution of xenobiotics, how it will be distributed throughout the body, right. So distribution actually it is a, a rapid process relative to absorption as well as elimination. Uh, after uh, it also distributed uh, via peripheral tissues uh, through blood, lymph nodes, cerebrospinal fluids as well. So after enter entering into the bloodstream, yes, xenobiotics uh, which may distribute uh, throughout the body uh, to organs or tissues, right? So in liver, in case of uh, food contaminants, uh, including monostodium could damage, uh, lead, uh, lead, lead molecules, uh, it's like a lead molecule, right? So mitotoxins, so these are all the food contaminate, contaminants which are deposited in the liver. And also tetracycline, uh, doxycycline, so these are uh, drug deposits uh, which are stored uh, in the cutaneous part of the organs. That is a uh, skin uh, cutaneous part of the uh, muscles, right? So then uh, pesticides, uh, dimethoate 30 C, uh, vaselone 35 EC, uh, cunelforce 25 EC. So these are all the uh, pesticides. So these pesticides uh, which were deposited uh, at the fat of the body, and also plasticizers, uh, herbicides, insecticides. So these three elements which is composed of organo uh, phospho, uh, phosphate molecules so these organo phosphate compounds which deposited in the uh, inside the body in the form of fat and also ttt so these are also uh, deposited in the uh, fat of the body right so then uh, come to bone right so here fluoride uh, lead gadmium radium plutonium so these heavy metals which were deposited are ultimately stored uh, in the bone bone right so xenobiotics are uh, uh, stored in uh, body constituents including liver body fats and bone right so uh, we uh, learn from the uh, previous slide so here i mentioned the overall pathway of, uh, pathway of fat of xenobiotics right so xenobiotics first enters uh, into the body through the uh, blood streams or ingestion a gastrointestinal tract or inhalation through the nasal cavities right so nose those things and also skin uh, dermal penetration so through uh, dermis lay, dermal layer so it uh, xenobiotics also uh, penetrate into the body right so after that uh, xenobiotic uh, is absorbed into the bloodstream right so xenobiotics uh, which is absorbed by blood, uh, bloodstream and also and uh, distributed over all the uh, body in the fraction of uh, cells tissues and then organs right so biotransformation and then is positive to biotransformation so it is a process uh, it may be defined as a conversion of molecule or chemical uh, from 
one form to another form it is also simply called as bio transformation right so the ending uh, or the results of bio uh, transformation uh, generates more polar that is water soluble inactive chemical compounds or metabolites it also readily excreted from the body uh, some metabolites uh, may uh, still uh, have potent biological activity uh, i meant uh, they may have a uh, toxic effects at the end of the bio transformation process you all know that in phase one reactions uh, it uh, it is a uh, formal reactions or functionalization functionalization reaction in case of phase two reaction it is a conjugation reactions so in conjugation reactions uh, the uh, metabolites are conjugated with some uh, amino acids or some other chemical agents or macromolecules like uh, dna rna protein carbohydrates those so those things those macromolecules can binds to the uh, xenobiotics and proceed to conjugation process that is phase 2 reactions so finally uh, xenobiotics which are eliminated uh, from the body in the form of parent or metabolites parental compounds or co metabolite compounds as well as and their conjugate conjugates or other derivatives right so preliminarily uh, the excretion or elimination elimination routes are urinary or fecal or respiratory so urinary uh, basically uh, through the urinal uh, urine uh, will be passed so uh, xenobiotics also uh, excreted through urine or fecal materials and also a respiration so during respiration or uh, exhalation the xenobiotics are released right so and also uh, during absorption and distribution of xenobiotics uh, in body tissues and organs the xenobiotics also perform some of the toxic actions including pharmacologic uh, pharmacological actions uh, cell injuries uh, that is cell apoptosis or cell death right so some immunological uh, responses immunological behavior and also carcinogenic effects so this is the overall uh, fate of xenobiotic uh, performed in the human body thank you